All right, we are following some breaking news right now unfolding in Northern Virginia. I'm Adam Longo. We're going to get to recent open mic in just a minute, but first we got to get you an update on the latest from a Blue Line train derailment. This is a metro train that derailed partially near Arlington, Arlington Cemetery. It's going to take you live right now to where that spot. First responders, what you're seeing here is this is the platform at the Arlington Cemetery station. First responders from Arlington County have been getting people off of that train, which is in a tunnel, walking them down the tracks and then bringing them up onto that platform where now we presume they'll be taken to some sort of buses and taken to another stop where they can continue their journey. Metro says about three to 400 people were on board this train from the looks of people who have been offloaded. It doesn't appear that there have been any injuries, but we do not have any official confirmation on that at this point. So here's an idea of where this unfolded. All right, so very close to the Arlington Cemetery Station right now. Blue Line service is suspended uh, between Roslyn, uh, the Pentagon and Foggy Bottom. Arlington Cemetery, the closest where this train actually went off the tracks. We've got a picture we can show you of inside of the train from Mary Kate Martin. You can see folks there just on their phones, everyone appearing to be calm, but the lights out inside of that tunnel on board that train. We want to go live out to WSA 9 reporter Tom Dempsey, who is on the scene not too far from where this happened. Tom, can you bring us an update as to what's unfolding and what you're seeing from where you are? Well, Adam, as you can imagine, this uh, emergency crews continue to be very busy at this hour. And just because of all the flashing lights, the emergency tapes that are up right now, this is about as close as we can get to this derailment. We're standing right next to the elevator shaft that you can take down to one of the sides of the platforms here at Arlington National Cemetery. But you can see across the way, see across the tracks, some of the emergency crews who are out here right along the tracks right now. The derailed train is just down a, a short way from where you're seeing right now. Over the last 15 minutes though we've been seeing groups of passengers getting off and walking towards uh, the exit of the uh, the the metro station and we're going to walk you around here to show you kind of a scope of the scene again we're standing right next to one of the elevator shafts here and if you walk through uh, these bushes with me here we'll walk up to the emergency tape and you can actually see where the passengers are being let off by the uh, investigators at this hour. Again, look at all the flashing lights here. Look at all the emergency vehicles. You can imagine just the response got and just the experience this has been for the passengers over the last uh, few hours. We spoke to a woman who was actually on board. I spoke to, uh, spoke to her over the phone and she described uh, right before five o'clock, you know, it was a routine uh, commute home for her. She reported smelling a burnt rubber on board one of the trains. This is the blue line. This is right near Arlington National Cemetery when this was all unfolding. She could smell burnt rubber on, on the train when uh, one of the train cars started filling with smoke and the train actually started stopping and going, stopping and going, and the train, the power on the train kept going on and off until ultimately the train uh, came to a stop. She told me almost quote, she said, uh, this did not feel like there was any shocking moment to any of this. There was not a, it did not feel like a derailment to her. Uh, she didn't see any injuries on board the train car, but I get, you can imagine what these passengers have been going through inside of a dark car sitting on there for, you know, 90 minutes to two hours, and they're just being let off right now. And we do know that the passengers are being let off at that exit down here at the Arlington National Cemetery Metro Station. Again, as I keep saying, a very busy scene out here. Uh, no reports of any injuries at this hour, and we do know uh, the crews are working to get all these passengers off this train. And we are uh, keeping a close eye as they are letting these people off here, Adam. All right, Tom Dempsey, thank you. We want you to stand by because we're actually going to go live to the phone here. And Mary Kate Martin is with us. She is a passenger on that train right now. So Mary Kate, can you tell us, are you on board this train right now? Are you in the tunnel walking towards the station? Where are you right now? Howdy, guys. We just exited the tunnel and we are rocking up along the rails. Fantastic. So you're just about there on the platform. I think we'll be able to show our viewers some live footage of how that's going right now. We might actually be able to see you here come out of the tunnel in just a moment. Can you describe for me? So you were stuck on this train for, for close to two hours. Just take me back to what happened shortly before five o'clock. What did you feel and see on board that train? So it just seems like a pretty standard, you know, train kind of starts and stops. So nobody was panicking or anything and then it seemed to stop for a very very long time there was a burnt smell the cars were all very hazy and the lights kept flickering on and off and that's when we realized there was something something bad that actually happened were you getting any from sort then on out we were waiting 
Were you getting any sort of updates or communication from the driver? It took a long time. Um, it was about 15, 20 minutes, and then he came over the speakers and said there was some kind of brake issue, but then we saw the news that it was a derailment. Gotcha. So you heard that first from the news. So did, w was there any point of panic among anyone who was around you? I mean, you described it getting sort of hazy. We've, we've heard reports of uh, some, uh, at least one of the cars filling with smoke. Yes, um, but everyone was pretty, was relatively calm. I think we're all used to the metros kind of breaking down occasionally. And since it happened so gradually, uh, nobody really panicked. We were on the metro for about two hours, but people, uh, once we got to past about the 45 minute mark, people were updating us fairly frequently. We had a lot of security personnel, firefighters, and police walking through and giving us updates. Right, and so what you're describing here with this, quote, derailment, which is what they're telling us, is that you didn't feel anything too jarring. So perhaps, I don't want to put words in your mouth here, but you'd be surprised if, if anyone was injured in the course of this. Yes, I actually did speak to a fireman, and they said nobody had been injured. Nobody had been injured, okay, from you talking to uh, a firefighter. All right, so is this going to affect your travels on Metro from here on out? Is this something that's just sort of baked into your daily life, that stuff like this can happen? Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty essential to my daily commute. You know, I don't I moved up to the city and I don't have a car, so I don't really have much of a choice. <laughs> gotcha. Well, since we've been talking with you, are you are you up on the platform now there at Arlington Cemetery? No, we're still walking along the tracks, but we are outside. Still walking. And have they told you how they're going to get you to where you're going? Uh, not specifically. I'm just following the leader. And where are you trying to go? Where's home? Uh, I'll be getting off at Crystal City. Home is Alexandria. Gotcha. Well, it looks like it's going to take you a little extra time to get home tonight. Listen, Mary Kate, we really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Uh, stay safe, concentrate on that walk, and we hope you get home safely. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You bet. You too. All right, so listen, we're going to be following this story closely as more of those passengers emerge onto the platform at Arlington Cemetery. We were told that close to Perhaps 400 passengers were on board this multi-car metro train when it suffered a partial derailment uh, near the Arlington Cemetery Station there in Arlington. Arlington County Fire and police officials helping those passengers offload from the train right now. If we get any new information, we'll bring it back to you right here live on air on WSA 9. In the meantime, go to WSA 9.com for updates. You can also download our free WUSA 9 app. Right.